via telephone, I have Pam Dukes, the executive director of Senior Resources, celebrating 50 years uh, this year. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Now, you guys have um, so many services for seniors in the community, but I want you to give us an overview of exactly what you do and how you serve the community. Sure. Uh, Senior Resources is a nonprofit. Uh, We've been in business for 50 years serving seniors, and what that means is that we provide services that help seniors remain independent in their homes as long as possible. Our goal of our services is to prevent um, early or premature institutionalization. So we um, provide services like volunteer opportunities for seniors who want to give back to their community to serve children or other seniors within the community. But our largest service is Meals on Wheels. Um, Probably most people have heard of Meals on Wheels. Right. Um, And Meals on Wheels is a program that brings a hot meal to a senior's home Monday through Friday, um, mostly through the use of volunteers. Um, And oftentimes, the volunteer delivering that meal is the only person that senior sees during the day. And oftentimes, the meal that we bring is the only complete meal of the day that that senior has. So it's a really important service to keep seniors independent in their homes. What does a person have to do to be able to qualify for Meals on Wheels? Well, to qualify for Meals on Wheels, the individual has to be homebound. Um, Most of our services are offered to seniors 60 and older, although we do have a couple of funding sources that we can serve some disabled adults who are under 60 years old. Mm -hmm. But um, the individual must have an inability to prepare their own meals, either because they do not have access to food, they cannot access food, or maybe they're unable to stand for long periods of time to prepare meals. Or maybe they have some other kind of physical impairment or, or their mental, mental capacity does not allow them to be able to prepare their own meals. And so we prepare meals and take them out to them. Um, and they're nutritionally balanced and healthy meals that we serve. Okay, so what kind of challenges might you have in providing meals to the seniors? Well, some of the challenges that we have are that our population as a whole is aging. And so as the population continues to age our services are more in demand. And so often um, we have a waiting list for services um, because simply because of funding. However, when you look at, um, as a society, when you look at the cost of providing Meals on Wheels to seniors, it's a very cost-effective service because if you can provide meals to an individual for one year in their home, that's going to cost less than about one day of hospital care. And so it's a way to offset or or prevent health care costs. We know that if we can keep someone eating healthy meals and keep them healthy in their home, then overall their health care costs are going to be reduced versus someone who does not have access to food or is not eating proper food. And so, um, you know, it's a a very cost-effective service. But one of our challenges also is having enough volunteers to deliver these meals. Mm. So we are constantly seeking volunteers to help us um, provide this service to seniors. And what are the uh, qualifications for the volunteers? What would someone do if they want to volunteer? Um, They just have to be 18 years of age or older and have their own transportation. Um, All they need to do is call our office at 803-252-7734. And they can um, tell uh, the receptionist that they would like to volunteer to serve meals. Um, we serve out of two different locations in Richland County. And so pretty much no matter what area someone's coming from, um, they would be able to get to one of our sites um, within 15 or 20 minutes. And then we try and keep our routes short enough so that someone can deliver all of those meals within, say, 45 minutes to an hour. And so Meals on Wheels, one of your biggest programs, you said. What are some other uh, programs that you provide? Well, we also operate four senior centers in Richland County at different locations within the county. And this is an opportunity for seniors to go to these centers, um, have a noontime meal, socialize with their peers, and participate in activities like physical fitness, nutrition education, health education, seminars, and things like that. And as part of our um, senior center program, we also operate a transportation program so that if someone does not have access to be able to drive or to get to the senior center, we can pick that individual up in their home, transport them to the center for activities and a meal, and then back home at the end of the day. Um, We also operate a food pantry 
for individuals that we have to put on our waiting list for Meals on Wheels, we can go ahead and get them some food that's easy or simple to prepare um, until we can add them to services. We um, operate a home care service where an individual goes into a senior's home and assists them with activities of daily living, such as meal preparation, laundry, um, housekeeping, and things like that, just to keep them safe in their home. Mm-hmm. And an unusual program that we have, a lot of people may not think about, is that we have a pet health program where we provide pet food to our Meals on Wheels recipients. Okay. And the way this came about is many, many of our clients live alone, and we know what great companionship pets can be. Mm-hmm. And some of our volunteers reported back to us that they were seeing the trays that the meals come in on the kitchen floor oh my. or by the back door. And so we knew that that senior was serving, mm. I mean, um, sharing their food with their pet. Mm-hmm. And so we set up a pet care system where we get um, donations of pet food. And we have volunteers who deliver the pet food out to our seniors once a month to um, for, so that they have something to give to their pets wow. rather than sharing their food with their pet. Sad to hear, but I'm glad that you guys have something in place now that um, is, is helping seniors feed their pets as well. Yes. I mean, pets are great companionship. Mm-hmm. And, and um, as I said, our, our meals are nutritionally balanced, which means they're about one third of the calories that an inv- individual needs during the day. Mm-hmm. So if they're sharing some of their food with their pet, we know that they aren't getting enough calories. And so that's why we set up that pet food system. Now, as part of your 50th year anniversary, you guys are planning a gala in November. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we sure are. We're, we're going to have a, um, a gala for our anniversary to celebrate our anniversary on November 3rd, and it will be at the USC Alumni Center. And this gala is going to be a night of fun, including um, a band. We will have um, heavy hors d'oeuvres or light dinner, however you want to look at it. Um, we will be having a silent auction. It's open bar. Um, so it's going to be a great night in celebration of our 50 years of service. All right. Where can people get tickets? A couple of ways. Uh, first, they could go to our website, which is seniorresourcesincinc.org, or they could call our office at 803-252-7734. And for anyone who would like to volunteer or get more information about senior resources, would they use that same contact information? Yes, um, on our website or calling our office either way, we'll um, put them in touch with um, someone who can help them out. We also have an a email address. Someone can email it's info at seniorresourcesinc.org, and we can take all ki- types of inquiries via that email. All right. What about social media? You are on social media, correct? Yes, we are very active on Facebook and Twitter. Okay. Um, and um, always looking to get more likes and followers there. So check us out there. Excellent. Pam Dukes, Executive Director of Senior Resources. Happy 50th and hope to talk with you soon. Okay, thank you so much.